Good morning. Oh, take a deep breath. The title for today is Boots on the Ground, Taking Action. Even after 12-21-2012, two very different scenarios are being reported in the alternative media, and both are being avoided, I think. I didn't put I think in there, but I think they're being avoided in the mainstream media. One, of course, is the total loss of liberty and rights, Agenda 21 and other such horrific scenarios depicting a bleak future of human life on Earth. The second one indicates complete restoration of freedom and human rights. This is the one humanity hopes for and one that the visionaries say is happening, despite appearances. As I see it, the truth is that the first one would happen were it not for those brave enough to put boots on the ground and stand up to those that would like to make the first scenario our reality. Oftentimes the action must be in the field of law, holding those that commit crimes against humanity accountable. As I said, I don't know, I don't watch the mainstream media, so it's hard to say what it's reporting or not reporting because except for blurbs I get from the alternative media, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't, I haven't been glued to a television set in 20 years. <laughs> and that's just the reality of it. Well, yeah, yeah, it was 20 years ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> I've been pondering this, though, because in 20, uh, 2011, of course, I was looking forward to the date of the 28th of October, and that came and went, and there didn't seem to be any of the changes I expected and hoped for. The same is true of the of the 12-21 date, winter solstice date. It's true there too. I mean, it, it has come and it has gone. There's no more big date for me to look forward to. I'm sure people will come up with little dates to build expectation and I and that's not all bad. I mean, it can have negative consequences when the things that we expect don't happen. Nevertheless, it also builds energy for the changes that we want to see. And I think that that is the positive side of it. And how it's going to come about in detail, I certainly don't know. I've said that time and again, I don't know. But I do know this, those that would like to rule the world are doing so unlawfully. They're breaking every rule in the books here in America, or in the United States, and around the world. They are taking away people's rights, they are putting more laws on the books that are not genuine laws, they are unlawful laws, they are legal stuff. But the attempt is to challenge people at every hand in regard to what is right and true and just. And there are many, many actions. You, you have, if you've been paying attention to the alternative media, you know that there are many legal actions against the Vatican, against uh, the corporations, against uh, the governments. There are many legal and legal actions in law being brought by people, brave people with boots on the ground against those that commit unjust acts against others and as I said crimes against humanity. And I don't know if this will be the most effective means of shifting the energy and turning the tide as it were or if it's just one, and it probably is just one of several scenarios. So each person has to determine for him or herself which role you are playing in and which camp uh, you are being utilized in to bring about the changes that we all want to see, the, the hoped for 
uh, justice with mercy and peace on earth and a society where people are told the truth instead of lies and where people learn to love one another and recognize the interconnectedness of all life. Now I've mentioned in previous videos that I've been working on a project and that it would be revealed in due time. My boots were being put on the ground, like it or not, because uh, the week before Christmas, I received a notice from PNC Bank telling me that I needed to vacate my home in or by January the 14th. They addressed it to tenant occupant at my address. And they said that if I did not respond within 10 days, they would take they would begin eviction actions. Well, the 10th day was yesterday. And what I have been working on, the project I have been working on, is filing a lawsuit against the clerk of the court for wrongfully listing PNC Bank as the owner of the property where I live. Two judges who one of whom denied me in writing uh, my right to a trial by jury in an order, another whom issued an order uh, striking my testimony from the record, my affidavits and my other documents that I have filed, striking them from the record, supposedly agreeing with one of the attorneys that's being sued, uh, the lady who represented the bank throughout the whole scenario of the lawsuit that began in 2005 and the attorney who falsely represented himself as being uh, for making a bid for the plaintiff in the matter uh, although he actually worked as a partner in the same law firm as the as the lady that was representing PNC Bank and I named six officials, the CEO, two, two different CEOs, one of the mortgage department, one the general uh, chairman and CEO of the whole, the whole organization, as well as some other influential people in PNC Bank in Pittsburgh. So I've named 11 defendants in my suit, which is the first one that I've ever filed as a plaintiff. And it also includes the 18th Judicial uh, Circuit Court. It also names the law firm, uh, Dean Mead, and it also names PNC Bank as defendants. So there's 14 defendants that I've named and brought up for charges of civil rights violations with punitive damages asked. It's a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Uh, and it was filed yesterday in federal court. It went out in the mail by the end of the day, express mail to uh, to Pittsburgh, to the headquarters of PNC Bank, uh, where it's guaranteed to be delivered by noon. And if it's not, they have to refund my money, I was told. But the others are, are all local here in the same county that I live in, uh, including the sheriff. Uh, and I... Uh, put an order, or I should say a uh, motion for injunction against the bank and any other party that would try to seize my property. Now, if you remember, back in the summer, in July, those of you that have been following this for a period of time, know that the matter was actually decided in the bankruptcy court, federal bankruptcy court in Orlando, when on July the 12th, they testified that they were not trying to take my home and the agreement, the settlement, compromise and settlement agreement that I agreed to was that there be, uh, uh, that there would be no further action against me by any of the parties involved in the lawsuit and that named PNC Bank as one of those parties. And now they bring this action in December, which by the way is the third consecutive December that there has been a threat to take my home. And this, and each one of them has come after what I thought was the knockout blow in the whole lawsuit. But of course, you remember on on the thirty 
on the 30th of uh, on the 30th of August, the attorney, in writing, and I have the letter, said that uh, the lawsuit is ended, and this was right after I had filed my ending just a, just nine days previous to that, and then filed or uh, filed in the court record the, my land patent and my uh, transfer of deed to uh, to a common law trust to a business trust so I took all of these actions and then they bring this action and I had warned them back in the spring that if they continued this thing I would have no alternative but to take them to federal court and file title 42 lawsuits against them and I also have the possibility of, of filing additional lawsuit uh, for title 18 which is criminal this one was filed in civil court on the record I waited for two hours yesterday for them to, for the judge to bring me the order for injunction, but uh, they said they could not, the clerks told me that there, there was no way, they, the judge knew that I was waiting, or they were informed that I was waiting, but I couldn't wait any longer because I needed to get it in the mail uh, by the end of the day, and I had to make photocopies of all the things and put together the envelopes and uh, and all of the mailing labels and everything else by the time I got home. So they agreed to email it to me, which it still hasn't arrived. Uh, but I it went off in the in the mail by the by the time the post office closed yesterday. And I had gone all day without even eating breakfast or anything. I mean I had worked from the time I did my video and continued to put things together here on this end and as soon as it was eight o'clock and I could go to the place and make the make copies of the exhibits that I needed. Uh, I was out there and then getting it notarized at the bank and then on my way to Orlando. I spent, I didn't tally it all up, but probably around $450 yesterday because uh, it's $350 just to file the papers. Uh, but I have put my boots on the ground and stood up against injustice and all of these things are cumulative. The people that are that are able and willing to do this are sending us a, a loud signal to those that have been taking our rights away from us. And it's so important that those of us that can do take action like this. I hadn't wanted, and, and you all know I've said many times, I would I want this, I want to stop being a lawyer. I, I want to just be able to enjoy my life and not have to be fighting battles all the time. But my mission, as I was told in 2010, is whatever is in front of me, respond to it. Don't ignore it, respond to it. And when things are presented to me over the course of at least the last three years, I have chosen to respond. And I have entered in the suit $5,000 per day in damages for the entire calendar years of 2010, 11, and 12, and 13 if it continues till late, till they remove their ability to threaten me, to, to take from me without due process of law and without a trial by jury. Now these are rights that I stand upon and people are saying, but your rights are, are meaningless, you don't have any rights. Well, there are people that would like human beings not to have any rights. Those that have committed the scam, the bankers and everybody else, that have committed this giant Ponzi scheme and this, this crime against humanity that creates unnecessary stress in people, that people are always having to chase the dollar and stuff like that. I could care less about the money aspect, but the money is what I need to get their attention. So it's a multi-million dollar lawsuit on many levels, uh, named and I, all the research that I did and, and seeing what other people have done and looking at other forms and stuff like that. I didn't have anybody proofread or go over and give me advice because I didn't want to be pulled in, a, in numerous different directions. I wanted to stay focused. I had one person that I did tell who tried to take me off on a tangent that I chose not to go on because it, to me that didn't matter and that was not the way to proceed. I did last week uh, deliver a personal letter to the clerk of the court who is one of my Facebook friends by the way 
the only public official that I'm aware of that, is, that requested friendship from me. Uh, but in any case, uh, I delivered a letter to his office in person to one of his deputy clerks advising him that he needed to correct the error or that uh, action would be filed before the end of the year. I didn't specify a date uh, and I called on the phone again on Wednesday to make sure that he had received the letter which he, I was told that, that it had been delivered to him but the clerk had no idea what action he was he was going to take and it, I said well the, the, the lawsuit is ready to be filed and she said, well, there's nothing I can do about that. I don't know what they're going to do. So the lawsuit was filed yesterday. And I, I didn't want to put that out into the public before I had filed it because I didn't want any action taken to forewarn people. Because I know that there are people that are involved in this matter that do, at least on occasion, watch some of my videos. And I I didn't want to raise too many uh alarms for them, especially on the, the banking level. It's going to be interesting to see how me filing this against the court is going to affect the other court case, which of course I have to go back on, what is it, the 11th of, uh, of January. I have to make an appearance uh, for a hearing on that on that issue. And they, I'm sure they will know that I have filed a, a lawsuit against the court itself uh, because they have not upheld rights. But this is where I am and I'm sharing with you now openly the steps that I have taken putting my boots as it were on the ground and taking action against the injustice that represents much more than just my particular scenario. Uh, once again I thank you for listening and uh, I trust you'll have a beautiful day. Namaste.